very, very, very short stream today. Probably, honestly, at most, probably like an hour and a half, I, I would say. Uh, we will be doing some Kaiserreich stuff tonight, if, if you're uh, looking for that. But for right now, we're fighting Rom the big ol' spider. And I'm hoping we can get it done. I mean, if, uh, like an hour and a half-ish. I should definitely have the time, I'm, I'm hoping, at the very least. Okay, Rom. You weird spidery boy. Again, I wish we had the opportunity to attack him in his weakened state every single time, and not just the very, very first attempt we had, but... You know, you can't win them all. Okay, there's a lot of spiders. Which I know is not a surprise, because that's like kind of the whole thing here. Oh, they can spit? I don't, I don't think we've ever actually seen them spit before. Okay, two spiders gone. So what I want to do is, he. I think he only respawns spiders when he uh, moves. So if I can just kill all the spiders now, we should have a little bit of a, a safer time doing things. At least that's kind of my hope. But we'll see. Hello, Finsk. Welcome. Glad we can, uh, that you can join us for the short stream today. And again, we will be doing Kaiserreich probably in about six or seven hours from now. Okay. Oh, don't, don't, die, don't die to the actual beginning spiders. That'd be embarrassing. Okay, that was actually bad. These nuts, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, all of your basic spiders are dead. Once we get him into the next phase, he does unlock some magical abilities, so we will want to uh, be aware of that. Actually, I don't know if he can attack right yet. I don't know, I think maybe he's like... Oh, what the hell? He stayed here? Okay, that didn't work out so well. But, you know, we got halfway ha uh, halfway dead. Have a great 24. Thank you. <laughs> so now he will have his... Magic attacks. Which I'm not happy with. I think we actually want to go short just because they have a faster attack. Okay, let's see if we can go maybe get you out of here. Okay, there's one. Okay, dodge, dodge. I think he, okay, he's, he's <laughs> immediately bombing us. Okay, thank you. So maybe, okay, I think, okay, here's my, here's my thought process right now, okay? It's for our first round. We will just, we'll kill all the basic spiders and then do as much damage as we can. It seems like we can get him to about half HP on that first, uh, on that first attempt. So maybe... On when he gets his magical abilities, when he gets into his second phase, we just ignore the small spiders and instead um, just focus on Rom. That seems like a plan. That seems like a plan that we could execute. So let, let's try it. Again, I don't know. Let me see. What do we, what do we have in our inventory? Is there anything that we could be, be useful? You know, let's let's try one of these things. I don't think I've ever used them yet. Also, it'd be funny if you get the bolt paper on, it just immediately electrocutes you and you just die, but... We, we have all these bolt papers, we have all the, um, the fire papers. 
And I haven't really actually used them yet. Okay, that- what the fuck? That did so much damage. Okay, that just missed. Oh, so yeah, we definitely are doing a little bit more damage with our electrical, uh, axe. Yo, give me- okay, now there's only a handful of them. Give me the big axe mode. I mean, 400 damage is pretty good. And based on, like, the damage that we are doing, I think we might actually want to apply the bolts before we attack Big Wrong. And we also have fire as well. Okay, Rom, just give me one second. Uh, we don't have that many, but we can buy more fire paper. I know we can buy them from the inside shop. And we do have quite a bit of that lying around. Okay, so we did about half HP. Where is he now? Oh, he's like right here. Hello. So yeah, honestly, I think we're just going to... Okay, he's teleported away again. Okay, he's teleported over there. But now he's... He, the amount of spiders he is collecting is... Okay, definitely increasing. Okay, Rom. What the hell? He's got a spider underneath him. What if I, like, just throw Molotovs at him? You think that makes any sense? Okay, that did like 35 damage, so probably not. I mean, he's pretty low on HP right now. But now we're getting to the point where he's got so many fucking spiders. Give me another heal. How much damage do these spiders take? Okay, that that's his, yes, his, his big ol' attack. They're all coming towards me now. And he's over here somewhere. Rom! I mean, I have a lot of heals. Dodge, dodge. Okay, he's so close to dying. Don't die for no reason. Don't die for no reason. Dodge, dodge. Give me heal. Like, he's so close. Dodge through his spiders. He would never hurt his own spiders. That's I, that's probably not true, but... Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Rom! You are the biggest loser today. Oh, level 12 uh, cold blood. I mean, that worked out pretty well, honestly. I think we got that's our third, that was our third attempt today. 100% okay with that. Hey, who? Hello, <laughs> hello to you. I don't know who the hell you are. Okay, that seems pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know, just the big orange moon and the baby crying. Something about it I find very funny. What's the baby? What's the crying emote in Twitch? 
Like the, the one with the baby. I don't remember what it's actually called. Um, like baby, like it's there. It is. Yeah, baby rage. That's what it's, it just. It's just the baby one. Okay. Well, we have a level twelve. Level twelve. Probably, I'm gonna take a guess and and say it's ten thousand. Not based on anything. Ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare newborn. Wait, I've been here before. This is where... Yeah, oh, hello. Can I just leave? Can I... Because I know... Yeah, there's just babies crying now, which I think... <laughs> but I want to go level up. Can I kill you for upgrade materials? Okay, twin bloodstone shard. So like not really what we're here for, because I want I don't even remember what they're called, like the the, the double bone. We have twenty-five thousand blood echoes right now. Which I think it, it might be around God, fuck off. I think it's around two levels ish. And yeah, this is where we fight. Uh, we fought Vicar. Vicar? We can go up here. Get our... Okay, they're, they are still chasing me, but that's okay. I don't know if I can run faster than them. But once I get to the Lantern, it'll be all okay anyways. And then we also have like the yeah the, the cold blood twelve so that might actually get us at third level if I'm lucky. Let's bring it back to the hunter's dream, and then we can go back there. Now that the door is open, the big uh, alien boy is gonna let me through, which is very nice of him. I don't know what changed his mind. I guess killing the big spider. Welcome. I would like to channel blood echoes. Okay, we only we're only gonna like one level out of this. So strength is basically nothing. Skill is also basically nothing. Endurance is 2. HP is 24. Again, I'm just going to take HP. Like, maybe it's a little boring. But it just seems to be the best. Also, we will use our... How much does 12 give us? I'm going to say 10... 20,000! Holy shit. Let's use you. Maybe another four thousand. Welcome. And I'm assuming that's going to be about two more levels. Can I just get like two more HP? I'm pretty sure the second soft cap is at fifty. Again, much like it is in uh, Dark Souls One. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And again, we get our five percent HP boost from the other thing we have. Okay, so that was um. Actually, I don't remember what that that one is. That is yeah, the Grand, Grand Cathedral. Can I teleport right in front of Moonside Lake? I don't know where Moonside Lake is. Is Moonside Lake the the ROM arena? I'm assuming so. But I'm just curious. Unless Moonside Lake is... Yeah, it's, it's just here. Why would you ever want to come back here? Maybe there's actually, like, a reason, but I don't know what it is. Also, I guess while we're here, we might as well see if we can upgrade. Or repair. I don't I don't know if, what we need to actually get done. Okay, fortify. We can get our sock. We have 16 of these things. We, we can get you up to 6. Then we might as well get our sock lever up a little bit as well. Because, I mean, I'm not going to be using my twin bloodstones for anything else right now. And again, you're good against Beast, apparently. Also, apparently you do a little bit more poison damage, which I didn't know about. They okay, repair you. Again, just take a quick look. Do we have anything better for our upgrades? I don't think we do. You do a lot of blunt damage. By 100. So it goes down by... 16 and then blunt goes up by 12 so that's, that's not worth it 
I'm, ass I'm assuming at least. Yeah, and you really have bonus against beasts. And then you turn the weapon into arcane damage, which is ass for us personally. What if I turn the sock? I know the sock lever doesn't have a triangle upgrade. I was gonna say, what if you turn the sock lever into an arcane weapon? But again, we don't have any arcane, so what's what's the point? Yeah, I'm assuming the cathedral is the right cathedral. I think there's like four different cathedrals we've been in in this game so far. I'm just hoping I picked the right one. I, I think I have. Again, we gotta go to the left once we come out of the building. Yes, excellent. Also, I should actually check to see how many more blood files I have. I'm pretty sure we're still definitely above 350. Like, we realistically probably have enough blood vials to last us the rest of the game. I'd be very surprised if we didn't. But again, I don't know what other bosses are coming up. We could we could run into a, a brick wall at some point. Similar to, if you remember in our Elden Ring campaign, uh, how long I got stuck on the fucking fire giant. We could end up in, like, in a situation like that where we just get stuck on a boss for like three hours. I don't, I don't really think we got really stuck on a boss that much in Dark Souls 1. I think the longest we got stuck on would have been on Seath. But even then, that was probably only like 10 attempts total. Okay, you're, you're still twin blood stone shards. Apparently, it looks like they respawn here infinitely, which seems pretty good. Yeah, hey buddy, how are you? You've got many, many arms. Will you let me just walk through here? Okay, apparently I, I've proven my worth to the big monster. No, he tried to attack me again. Okay, cool. I mean, I do have that... What, what was it? The guy gave it to me. I have the tonsil stone. The one guy in this random window just gave me the tonsil stone. Oh, so you guys have a lot of HP. Yes, we're definitely getting into new and harder areas. I mean, Joe's based on how much damage, or not, not how much damage, how much, uh, you know, how much damage they take, how much HP they have. Or maybe it's because of yeah, no, the moon is way angrier now than it used to be. It might be because of the moon. Okay. So. Hello to you. Hello to you. Yeah, so apparently the world is now just covered in just massive freaking aliens. Some Cthulhu-like beast. That's, that's nice. Sure, that's gonna make property values go up. Okay, who's shooting at me? I mean, we're still doing decent damage. How many runes? Five. And they're not runes, they're blood echoes. 500? I mean, that, that seems pretty good. Bloodstone chunk! That is what we need to get our uh, things up more. I think we need three of them. I think it's just 358. So that is a total of 16 we need to upgrade our weapon. At least plus 9, and I'm assuming there's a unique item you need for plus 10. That typically seems to be the case. Oh, you didn't even drop any items, wheelchair boy. What the hell's up with that? You also didn't drop any items. But I did see we did get a new helmet. I'm assuming this seems like it's... It's, it's bad, no. Yeah, no, it's it's actually just bad. <laughs> cool, thank you. I, I, I mean, you can't just have all armor be good, I guess. Some armor needs to be bad. But other than just base physical damage resistance, it's worse than our current hat in every single way. So, okay, you are a shortcut. Excellent. 
At least, at least it's good that we know where it is. And then you are back up to the lantern. No, you're not, actually. I was mistaken. Okay, dodge, dodge. And then, uh, a little smack for you. Is it meter to see these enemies die, like, way more violently? I'm pretty sure they are definitely dying more violently than now. Yeah, let's just avoid the big arms, please. Thank you. Give me this. I was going to try to spin the win, but it didn't actually work. I mean, it's kind of... You know what? They're not wrong. It is kind of my fault that things are a little bit shit around here. Okay, he's got a big range. I mean, we do get a lot of uh, blood echoes off this, so that's nice. Also, one heavy attack is not even actually enough to kill him, unfortunately. Okay, hear a bell. Hello! Did that, did that work? I mean, I got two bullets. I mean, it, it did say, I already forgot what the tutorial message was. But there's so many rounds here we have to find. Oh wait, 813 is pretty good. Hello. Okay, there's another alien. Again, I, I don't. I, they might not be aliens. But they're definitely a little bit screwed up. Let's just put it that way. Okay, door's not open from this side. Yeah, so you're definitely another shortcut. I think you're making the people respawn. You definitely are. So I'm guessing if we kill them, they don't respawn. Oh! Hello. Okay, luckily they're still easily parryable. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Am I dead? I am dead. Well, you got me. You big old, uh, you big old dude. Okay, but I, here's my question. I have the tonsil stone, right? And the guy said to bring it to the side of the cathedral. And it looks like the alien. So I'm wondering, is if we... Do we have to bring it back to the alien? Again, I'm going to keep calling them aliens forever. You can't stop me. I mean, yeah, it's definitely the bell people that are causing these guys to spawn in. I mean, it, may, it might kill me, but what do I lose? Like, 11,000 blood echoes? It's not a big deal. <laughs> hey, I was right. Oh, Amidala. Oh, Amidala. <laughs> Have mercy on the poor bastard. <laughs> It doesn't seem good. It seems kind of bad. I mean, he did laugh. I mean, he did, he did laugh evilly when he did hand it to us, so... The lecture building. Hey, she burned! Oh, wait, wait, are we supposed... Okay, maybe we're supposed to actually be here. Wait, can we just teleport right out as well? 
Okay, we can. So it's not, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm guessing you also, do you need to have enough HP to, to survive the frenzy hit? You, you have to then, I'm assuming. <laughs> the patches? Hello, Agent. It is to behold the divine. It must be such a pleasure. You're in my debt, you know. You're nigh on a beast of the field. But here you are, treading a measure with the gods. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be patches. I mean, everything's mostly empty. Oh, hello. Okay, items. We love items. Lecture theater key. Okay, useful. I'm assuming it's going to be useful at least. Student uniform is student trousers. Probably are not good. Okay, they're way good for they're way good for um, arcane defense, but you change your nick. What was your nickname before? You are you're the door to the outside. IO twenty eight. Yes. Okay. Wait. We're okay. We just left. Welcome, welcome, regardless. Yeah, we're probably going to be playing for like another hour or so. The Nightmare Frontier. Wait, I'm not even in the lecture building anymore. Okay, well... I guess we're here. That looks like a boss arena. Wait, you have loot! No, get back here! You might have what I need to upgrade my weapon. No, your bloodstone shard. Okay, never mind. You do not have what I need. Actually, the fact that you give me bloodstone shards, are we now... Like, were we supposed to come here way earlier and I just didn't? I guess we'll find out. Has the Molotov cocktail? Is Molotov and Bloodborne? Yeah, no. It, it, Bloodborne actually takes place in the year 3000. Uh, actually, no, it takes place in the year 2030. This, this, is, this is a few years from now. Okay, you do have a lot of... I don't even know if you have like a lot of HP or you just have like high damage resistance. Okay, give me this. Lead Elixir. Which is... Liquid medic medicine shifts weight to deflect attacks. What the hell does that mean? Okay, big old monster over there. It's a really strange future. I mean, this is actually just what London looks like right now. I missed. Whoa! Okay. You're getting yourself stuck on your own geometry in your own environment. Good work there. But I've noticed that they don't really do that much damage. So... The fact they don't do that much damage to me kind of indicates that we're not really... In too much threat, I think? Yeah, there's, you know, let's let's go down to this cave. I don't I don't think we found a uh, a lamp yet, so that seems like it's going to kill us, right? Like, ah, fuck it, let's try it. It did kill us. That's going to be a shortcut in the future. Fair enough. But where do we do we just spawn in here? 
where we spawn at the lamp in the um the lecture hall area. Not too sure. Cause we spawn in this environment. Oh, but there's a, there was a, a literal lantern right here. I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's a shortcut that we can use later. So there's like... Don't heal. Okay, heal by accident. Based on what I'm kind of seeing, there is three areas that we kind of have to explore right now. I'm assuming we've missed some stuff in the lecture hall. Because we went into one room and then immediately came here. And then, of course, there's this whole area, and there is the, um, the, it's the other area. <laughs> Which I know is a great descriptor. Oh, yeah, like, no HP. Okay, what do you got? Fire Blood Gemstone 2. Fire Blood Gemstone 2. Which is not you. We have one blood chunk. Again, I think we need three of those to upgrade our axe anymore. Is it in here? It is. Fire attack goes up. Okay, well that's absolute ass for us. It's not ass, but I mean, we don't have anything that does fire damage, so I don't care about it at all. Is there a kick? I think so. But I don't know what the actual button is. Okay, we got jump attack. Okay, I think there, there may actually not be a kick in this game. Like there is in Dark Souls, and I think Elden Ring also has a kick. Oh fuck, it's a hunter. Do you have a ton of HP too, or are you... You're, you're just like me, for real, for real. Okay, he's got less HP. Don't, don't parry me! That's how this fight's supposed to go. Oh, there's two of them? Well, okay, well there's two of them, then fuck this noise. Just give me a heal and get me the hell out of here. Can you get over here? No, I don't think so. They might try to path their way around and then get stuck. Fading Lake. Okay, Fading Lake is... It looks like it's going to be... I'm going to guess it's po poison. Bolt reduction by 5%. No. Fire damage reduction by 5%. And it could be useful in circ certain circumstances. We got Poison Lake. And everybody knows that these games love their poison lake. Okay, I did like nothing. Ah, I'm stuck in a fucking... I'm stuck in a tombstone! Cool, thank you. Oh, don't bow to me. Bad manners. I still feel, I still feel like other hunters have like way too much HP. Maybe that's just me? And it might just be me. But I feel like they got a lot of HP. Okay. They, they fuck me? There we go. They do. They have absolutely destroyed me and all my will to live. Okay, so there is... I'm guessing that's Poison Swamp. It's just a little bit glitched out based because it's just a little bit far from us. Goodbye to you. We got an item on that side. Wait, you're electric? What the hell's up with that? Oh, I, you know what? I bet you he has uh, some good stuff. The fact that he's so large. I bet you he has the, the gear that I want. I'm guessing it's based on their size. Okay, 
goodbye to you. Any item? No? Okay. Okay, take a quick look down there. You're definitely Poison Swamp. Are you the same Poison Swamp? I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can live if I jump down there. Okay, here comes one hunter. Okay, like, if we parry them, that do good damage? I mean, even then, like, not really. Okay, I'm pretty sure hunters, though, they do not respawn. I want to get your item. The lead elixir? Okay, not really what I was wanting. Okay, I can't get the parry on this. It attacks very fast. Oh, so the whip has really long range. I know that was one of the items you could have started off with. Fuck off. Can I just shoot you from here? There we go. Just shoot him until we win. I think it's time for Bow on a Rock game. What is what is Bow on a Rock game? I don't know what that means. I got item down there. I hear a big monster boy. There he is. Oh, Skyrim? Okay. I mean, the fact that they can still shoot me, though, does make it a little bit more difficult. But also, you can't jump in this game, so... It's much more difficult just to jump and, uh... Survive that way. rock at me okay so what do we want to do we can go do we go through poison swamp okay do we go poison swamp or do we go big rock boy I mean how okay how bad is poison build up okay it's pretty it's pretty like not great you know let's let's go poison boy first or not poison boy we'll go let's go with the rock guy because with Rock Guy, you just gotta avoid the rock. Is that so hard? I haven't seen any of the Fast and Future movies. I've avoided the rock for a long time. I, I did see the Tooth Fairy, so what the hell do I know? Okay, Bloodstone Shards, thank you. I mean, it's not really a thank you, because like, I don't really need them. But I guess I appreciate the thought. Oh, there's multiple rock dudes. Okay. Okay, that actually hit pretty hard. Am I dead? No, no, we're dead. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing if we were to go through Poison Swamp, the rock guys would just constantly throw rocks at us. Which would be bad. So, probably want to kill the rock guys and then go through the... And then go through Poison Swamp. Is there anything to this side? No, okay. Also, I guess we can see if the hunters have respawned. I don't think they will. Also, what the hell is that? 
Oh, okay, there's this big spider on the wall. Cool. I want to kill this thing. Okay, that thing killed me first. <laughs> but I think he has what I want. I, th I think he has the upgrade materials that would make my life uh, better. Give me a nice upgrade for my axe. Get up to plus seven, I think, is what we're looking for. Okay, but I'll get him this time. We just gotta get the drop on him in such a way that, you know, doesn't suck. Uh -huh. So go here. Are you alive? Yes. No, you're not. You're like, wait, well, you no, you're the guy you killed. Okay. Yeah, then you're the shortcut. So actually, no, this is not where we want to be right now. I'm guessing the shortcut, I'm thinking, is going to open once we... Okay, he's dead. Are you going to give me the upgrade materials that I want? No, you're not. Okay, cool. It's a waste of my time. Okay, we want we want the chunks, not the shards. I also don't need those either, but that's okay. I don't know if we can survive that fall, so I'm not gonna try it. Again, we're probably gonna be going for like another half hour. Again, I, I said it was gonna be a very very short stream. You know you got me, boy. Give me a little whoop, a little heal, heal. And we'll go fight rock guys. Okay, rock, one rock there. I just need to see if look, do I miss an item or something of that nature? One down. It's a multiverse of pain. We'll, we'll just do like a Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring playthrough. And if we ever die once, we gotta start the whole thing over again from the very beginning. That sounds like a thing that I could definitely accomplish. Ow. Ow, rock is heavy. Wait, heavy. Well, I mean, heavy kind of works as an adjective there. Bolt paper. You know, bolt paper is nice. I will take it. But there's definitely somebody who has done that, where they played every single game in order. And if they died, they had to restart everything. Because the people who play, like, a stupid amount of these games are absolutely insane. The people have like 500 hours in Dark Souls 1, there's no reasoning with them. I'm stuck. I'm getting chased, aren't I? No, I'm not. Okay. That didn't kill you, which is actually kind of unfortunate. It would have been really useful that fall. Actually, can you get poisoned? I don't know. No, yeah, you definitely can get poisoned because you're getting poisoned right now. Cool. Also, I'm going to drink one of these lead elixirs so I don't actually know what they do. Oh, I just move very slowly. I'm assuming I've got, like, a lot of extra defense. But now I can't really run. Does plot matter in Bloodborne? 
Well, I don't really know the the plot, to be completely honest with you, other than I know that there's, like, Lovecraft monsters that have destroyed a town, essentially. We're no longer at the Lead Elixir, so... Lead Elixir kind of sucks, I think. It doesn't seem very good. Okay, you drop... Okay, well, that worked. Is that a shortcut? That seems like a shortcut. That's definitely a shortcut. Right, because, like, where are we now? I'm pretty sure this is around the beginning. Yeah, no, this is definitely the beginning. Okay, so we come from where we start, which I think is, like, around here somewhere. We go this way... This, I think, has, like, a beast guy on it. Okay, so it's, like, right here. I don't think we'll be able to miss it in the future. I mean, these games have, like, a ton of lore. If you want to go in uh, and explore all that. But I'm not... 100% knowledgeable on the lore. If it came out this way... These ones actually want to defend themselves. But they're not they're not giving me the upgrade materials I actually want. Because what I want is the chunks, and you're giving me the shards. And the shards not that the shards are bad. Is that the shards are just like not what I want right now. Okay, wait, no, how, okay, we came this way. Just one sec, I've gotten myself lost. Because there was a bridge that I saw we didn't actually go into, or go over. We go here. Yes, this bridge. View notes. This way to witness the miracle. And again, these are developer notes, so... Is a mir- Okay, so did, did the notes just make me fight a boss? Or do I get my own pets? Fucking patches the spider pushed me into the- this is why, see, this is why in Dark Souls 1 I killed Patches immediately. You don't trudge past, you don't, you don't trudge Patches. I don't think I'm in a boss fight, I think he just... ...pushed me into Poison Swamp. Thanks for the lead elixir. Yeah, now we're just poisoned, so that's cool. What the fuck are you? Oh, that's rapid poison. I don't know how quickly rapid poison kills you. And I prefer not to find out if I can. Full blood four. Okay, give me one heal. You seem like you will lead to the shortcut maybe? No, you don't. Okay, antidote four. Or four antidotes. That is where we were going to come in originally. The item over there. You look like you might be a correct way to go. And again, you can't get more poison. Once you're poisoned, you're poisoned. I mean, we got that going for us, which is nice. Also, is this a way to go? No, this is just... I mean, Cold Blood 8. It's like 3,000-ish. Hey, look at that. We're poisoned again. 
Yeah, but I do see there's an item up on this thing. I don't know where the boss is. Cold blood flound flower bed. I think that is going to be another um. Ow, you fucker. Did you poison yourself? You did. Okay, cool. Now we can both be poisoned together. Oh, hello. Oh, you're just gonna give me frenzy. Okay, cool. I should not be running away. It does not seem like it's doing anything. Do I even have any... I think we're just gonna get killed and meet. Ah! We're alive. Do I have anything that has frenzy resistance? What we're wearing. Okay, cool. Now so you have a little bit more. You know, give me this. Yeah, we basically already had the best stuff on for frenzy resistance, so I guess we'll just kind of fucking go for it. Where is he? There he is. He's dead! He's dead! Don't frenzy me now! I'm still alive, holy shit. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have lived through that. I thought it was an instant kill. But it seems like it really all it does is it actually just takes away a lot of your HP. Which I mean, I guess is better than dying immediately. Kind of. You're not doing, that's gonna kill us. Okay, well there goes our items. But I don't need their stinking items. Yeah, there's another one of the frenzy guys. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually making hey, an item. What do you got? More. Why do we have so many lead elixirs? They kind of seem ass. I mean, I guess they don't know how much damage resistance they give you. Maybe they make you just invulnerable to damage for a little bit, but... Oh, I'm alive. Gold Hunter's Mark. I think I fell down here by accident. And by I think, I mean I know for sure I fell down here by accident. Can I get up this? Okay, kill the asshole monster. Madman's knowledge. There's gotta be a shortcut around here. It's like we found one kind of, but also not really. I mean, okay, well, we haven't been this way yet. So maybe we'll, um,. Are you alive? Oh, you're still alive. No, you're not. Okay, you're dead. Is this cave maybe the shortcut? Maybe a little shortcut up here? Yes? Yes! Excellent, excellent. So let's go level up first. That, that's going to save us. I'm so glad we found that. Because that is, to me, looking like the boss arena. But now I gotta remember how we actually got the hell out over here. Like, how, where even is the... Where is the spawn? Is it up here? I mean, I know it's in a cave. Okay, there it is. Okay, so go back to Hunter's Dream. We'll level up. We can probably get, I'm gonna say, two level ups. Um, again, I don't think we can upgrade anything. That's gonna be what can, can we upgrade anything? Maybe we can sell also all of these lead elixirs that I'm never gonna fucking use because they're bad. 
Oh, it's not okay. It's not that. Oh, wait, you're, you're working. Okay. Yeah, we have one of three. Again, we might as well get you up to plus six. Oh, you actually have fire. Oh, you can make it a fire weapon. You know what? Sure, why not? I don't know what fire weapons scale with. Sure, beast gem on you. Okay, it's now a fire weapon, which might be useful. Skill scaling? Sure, why not? I mean, it's like our sec- it's our offhand weapon. So... I think as we can see, let's let's equip. Yeah, we'll equip the saw cleaver for a second. Welcome. welcome. Just want to talk to you. What what level is this Very up? Well, let me... Is it like blunt hinge? I mean, arcane does a little bit. But again, I'm, I'm just gonna get like more HP. Again, I I always think HP is just the way to go on this. Until we get up to fifty or. What do you scale with? I mean, you still scale with the same stats. I guess this fire doesn't scale, though, so... If we find any enemies that are weak to fire, we can use that with them. Yeah, let's go back to the Nightmare Frontier. That's where I, that's where I want to be. That's where, I wanna, that's where we're going to retire. Just the Nightmare Frontier. Nice little, uh, nice, nice little neighborhood. Okay, but let's see. Well, first thing, you know, let, let's let's try this. Because I don't know if it's actually going to be any good. Have you played Sekiro? No, I have not. I played Elden Ring, Dark Souls 1, and now this. Oh, that does way more damage against you. Holy hell. Okay, I didn't mean to heal there. Actually, no, I didn't. I accidentally uh, used my blood to get more bullets. So you've got fire on you, and then you're just really good at strength. So we're gonna see. I want. I want to take a damage scale. Like one basic attack with you is. I mean, one sixteen. Oh no, that that was with my other weapon. Twenty eight versus one sixteen. Okay, like it's not even actually a contest. We should be using... Okay, so when we, when we find an enemy that basically does not take that much damage from our axe, we should at least try with the Saw Cleaver. They're both up to plus six now. So they're both looking pretty good. And our gun, our pistol's also at plus six. So that's also nice. Okay, where's the boss? Amidala. My favorite, uh... Star Wars character. How much damage do we... Okay, don't... Okay, you do do damage to us. Can I hit your feet? I don't know, actually. You're very loud, I can tell you that. Seven damage. Okay, so what is... No, I know, that was with the other one. Oh, it's even worse with our saw blade. Okay. Hit his legs? I mean, I'm hitting the legs. Or was I hitting the tail before? Hey, I did a little bit of damage. I mean, obviously, we've got to hit his face. Okay, thanks for framing out the game so much.
Like, where we have to attack is definitely... Okay, can we stop that, though? Yeah, like, just shoot him in the face is 29 damage. Okay, 449. Okay, there's... Okay, that's good. That's good damage. Much happier with those numbers. Okay, I can't reach that. Can I light? Can I throw a call, Molotov cocktail in his face? Wait, I st staggered him. Staggered him. Staggered him. Okay, do. Okay, that's good damage. Okay, that's not good damage though, because I didn't actually hit him. <laughs> Six. Okay, don't do that again. What the hell is this? Amadala! You gotta save Naboo! Okay, please. Okay, it's half HP, half HP. Oh, you piece of shit. Wait, he's, he's, he's down again. He's down again. Can I hit him from there? No. Okay. Did he get more arms? He's using his arms as weapons. Holy shit. I love that. I love that for him. Bullshit, bullshit on that one. Oh, I died. What? Bullshit. Okay, well. Hello, Nicola. Okay, well, that was a good first attempt. We, we could have, we, we were this close. Uh, but to be fair, for the first little bit, I had no idea what, <laughs> how the game, how his mechanics worked, so. Okay, now I gotta remember how to even get back there. Shortcut, yes, down here. Did I, I didn't call, I didn't bring it back up, did I? No. We we have this though, for sure. Hello to you. Do you think this guy's consider? I mean, I mean, nah, no. I think I think we'll just stick with our uh, current weapon. Okay, Amadala. You know what? Okay, that was a good first attack on your part. Again, we have so many blood vials, I should just be... Wait, he's got laser already? I thought that was just a phase 2 attack. Hey, buddy.
This guy's got like so many arms. Okay, goop. He's gooping the shit out of me. Well, okay, you know what? There's no reason to even have a gun out. It doesn't do anything here. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay, his hands are also a little bit weak. That's good to know. I was just focusing on his head before. I ca okay, I can't see. Give me, okay, Amidala? Just give me a second, okay? Thank you. Phase two, phase two. Hey, buddy, buddy. his arm? I don't think so. But you gotta remember, you can attack other parts of him other than just his, uh, than just his head. Hands are still good to hit parries to hit. He's down, he's down, he's down. Boom! Visceral attack! Dodge, dodge, dodge. Press the dodge button, please. Okay, Amidala. Oh, I tripped over his hand! At least that's what I think happened. It's hard to tell sometimes. You know, I'm gonna heal just a little bit more, just like honestly, just in case. I can't see! I'm at Allah! Grant me eyes! Okay, heal again. You know what? Don't just attack his. Just go for a quick, easy hand attack. Okay, hello. Amidala, Amidala. You know what? That actually didn't do bad damage. What? How did that get me? What the fuck? Good night. Have a good night. Wait, did I stun him? I stunned him with that. Holy shit. One more, just one more attack anywhere. What about his feet? 
Okay, no, don't be greedy, 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 don't be greedy. Was that 6 H? Did he literally have like 5 HP? I think he legitimately had fucking 5 HP. Cause, Cause that one six point to his legs was enough for the kill. Well, I'm at all is dead. Two tries? By the way, so far, like all the bosses in, in Bloodborne have been been really fun to fight against. There we go. So that is, so far, we've done Rom, we've done Amidala. Um, I don't know if there's anything left there to do. It seems like most sub-areas have, like, one boss. I see there's also stuff in the lecture chamber we forgot. Let's just do a quick, uh, once over there. Just to check. So we got the lecture hall key. Now open from this side, okay. And then that door just leads you to the Amidala fight. Hey, this door opened. Oh no, grad students! I didn't- I didn't even level up. That was stupid of me. Their, their frames are like a little fucked up right now. Why is there why is there why is there movement animation at like 10 FPS? Yeah, thanks for the bullets. This guy just sleeping, he's just slacking off. And he's a grad student. Okay, bye-bye to you. Okay, we have 40,000 uh blood echoes. We can definitely go back and Level up, and I think after that we might just call it a stream again. I know I said it was gonna be a short one like we were we've been live for literally just over an hour But I mean we've been live for just over an hour and you have two boss kills, so I'm not gonna complain about that Okay, what are you? Partially summons Ibritas. I'm guessing these, these have to be skills or um like um What's the word I'm looking for? Like magic? Like spells. That's that's the word I'm looking for. They're probably equivalent of spells in Bloodborne. Of course, we have like no arcane to use any of them. Because I think we need what 15? And we have eight. Okay, well let's go back to Hunter's Dream. We'll level up. And then we'll probably just call it a stream. And again, we'll be live later today. Probably fuck, I don't know, like six hours, like eleven o'clock tonight, uh, midnight maybe. To uh stream some Kaiserreich. I just want to see how many how many blood vials do I have? We've already used about 80 since I've done my uh, my grind, but that's okay. Welcome, what? Very well. The arcane's bad, right? Seven. Get up to nine. 50 HP. Three more damage in our weapon. I mean, like right now. Okay, we'll, we'll do two two vitality points, and then I think with that we'll probably call it a stream here, and again we'll be alive later today. So for now, goodbye.